Hi and welcome. In this video, you're going to see how to reset your Kubernetes cluster, how to reset your Kube ADM cluster. If I log into my control node, this is where I have kubectl set up. If I was to do kubectl, get nodes, you can see all my nodes are there, they're healthy, they're working well. But I just want to show you how to reset your cluster in case something goes wrong and you need to reset it. Control L to clear the screen. So to reset the cluster, you just need kubeadm reset and you're going to use sudo kubeadm reset. So I will first of all reset the control node. And then once I reset it, I'm going to initialize it again. So you can see it's asking me to confirm whether I want to reset it. And I'm just going to press yes, enter, give it a bit of time to delete, to delete everything it created. It has been reset and it's telling you that you need to remove the cube config file. I need to remove this file, but before I do so, I can just show you that now our cluster is not working. So if I do kubectl get nodes, you'll see the cluster is not reachable. So let me just delete the cube config file that I have there. And I can just do rm. I don't need sudo. Control shift v. And we're going to add it once we have initialized the cluster. So let me reinitialize the cluster once again. And even before I reinitialize the cluster, let me reset the worker nodes, the two worker nodes that I have. I will log into the first worker node. And then I'm going to reset this one as well. So do kubedm reset. Type Y, enter. And then as this one is resetting, let me reset the other one as well. Control Shift O. That will open a new tab here. I can log into the other worker node. All right, so now let's initialize our cluster. Okay, so I'm here on the control node and that is the one that will act as our control plane for the cluster. So I need to initialize the cluster. And so I'll put the link in the description. This is just a post for installing a kubeadm cluster and you can use VirtualBox for this or VPS or Cloud VPS, it doesn't matter. So to initialize the cluster, I'm going to copy this. And I will put it here. And then here, put the IP address for your control node. So I'm going to copy that and then I'll bring it back and run it here to initialize our cluster. While this is happening, the next thing you're going to need to do is to set up a CNI. And in this case, I'm going to use Calico. So if you want the latest Calico, just Google install Calico. Install Calico. And here on the Calico website, okay, here under install, just come down here and you need to install the operator. The operator will manage the Calico installation for you. That's why you need to go with this. If you go with manifest, you won't have the operator to help manage everything related to Calico. So under operator, we're just going to copy that to install the operator. So you can see the, the cluster is already set up and you can copy that, you're going to need that, you're also going to need this as well as that. So I'm going to clear the screen, Control L to clear the screen. For installing Calico, I'm just going to do it inside of the temp directory. 
because if anything is downloaded, I want it to be automatically deleted when my computer reboots. So control shift V, this is going to create the operator. Okay, so you see, uh, uh, I can't do anything until I enable kubectl kubeconfig. So copy this first, copy that, and I'll just do control shift V to paste it. All right, now kubectl should work. And even if I do, and now if I was to do kubectl, get nodes, I'm going to see I have one node, which is a control plane. So what I'm going to do next is just to install the operator for Calico. So when I run it this time, it should download it and set it up. And then the next step is to download the custom resource. And then the next step, we need to download the resource for the resource for configuring Calico. So I'm just going to copy Control L, Control Shift V. So this is going to download it. If you don't have Cal, you might need to install Cal by sudo apt install Cal. And now that it's downloaded, we can use it to create the manifests related to Calico. So this is a file that has been downloaded and we're going to use it to create that. Control Shift V, enter. And now, now Calico should be setting up and we can check. We can check for the resources being created. We can watch the resources being created related to the Calico system. After waiting a while, all the Calico resources have been deployed. So I can just do Control C to get out of this. Control C. And now the next step is to join the other worker nodes. To join the other worker nodes, I'm going to need the join command and I can copy it from there. Copy. So I'm just going to log into the worker nodes again. So once you're sure you've set up Calico, then you can join the other worker nodes. I'm going to do sudo, sudo the join command and then enter. So while this is happening, I can also log into worker two. So I'm just going to do control shift O to open a new terminal here. And then I'm also going to use the join command on the second worker node. Sudo enter the join command. If I was to come back to the control plane, control L to clear the screen and I will do kubectl get nodes. And you can now see that our cluster is ready and we can test it. So I'm going to create a file here. Let me just call it n.yaml. Let me come back here. I can use I can use this to test if our cluster is ready and working well. I'll paste the contents in there. And you see we have it will have two replicas. This is just an Nginx deployment as a sample. Shift ZZ to save. And then I will do kubectl. kubectl apply the file. Deployment created. We can watch if the pods Let's watch as the pods get created. And once they've been created, we'll be able to check it on our browser. Watch kubectl get pods. And I can just do it without adding a namespace because this is going to get created in the default namespace. All right, so you can see 
both boards are running so we can test it if i go to the browser and i use ip for one of the worker nodes i should be able to access it there you go so even the ip for the second worker node i should be able to access it there as well because i believe there's a pod running on that node as well there we go and if you come here we can delete i can delete the deployment no resources found if i log in if i refresh the page you'll see that our nginx is now not showing so that is how to reset your kubeadm cluster that's it for this one if you have any questions feel free to let me know